So right, hello. Um, got another tutorial for you. Um, this time it's not Sony Vegas. This time I want to show you um, Xpeter dot. Uh, just Xpeter, okay. Um, for that, at first you need to know what is the for. For that, I'm just gonna get back um, to um, where we're gonna need this. Actually, you may know the Xbox controllers or PS3 controllers or just gamepads at all that are just usable on the console in this um, in this case Xbox or PS3 um, but with an adapter you can actually um, use them use that controllers on the computer um, okay you may think nice feature okay but the bad thing is that the yeah, the very very little games support that. Call of Duty Black Ops supports that. You can just go to options and go to gamepad if there's one on your PC. Um, but on yeah, just on the other Call of Duty games or just an other actually in any game you can't use that. Or actually I don't know one. Um, so for that, we're just gonna need a software where you can uh, where we can do that. So the hard co uh, the hardware is actually called Xbox 360 Accessories 1.2 in my case. It's such a thing uh, with a USB plug that you plug in your um, USB whatever, and um, that's just a little box, let's say box, and um, yeah, there is a button on it, and um, you just go to the uh, Xbox controller. In my case, click on the Xbox emblem, whatever that is in the middle, and we got the control. Just gonna quickly do this. Um, that's just searching, and voila. Okay, I got it. I can actually, I could actually go to Black Ops and go to Gamepad. Um, I'm also gonna show this. Wait, just quickly show you this. Actually, my um, my Black Ops is um, German because I'm from Germany. Please excuse about that. Um, so just go to uh, and here here's the gamepad. Um, enable it. Okay. Just that. That how how to do that. Um, but in other games like Motor Rapper 2, you can't do that. So, um, as I just said, we're gonna need that software. I'm just gonna open this up. Run. And actually, wait, it may not work for you um, the first time. It will show up like um, you got the wrong version, like Wistar or anything like that. If you don't have Wista or something like that, for that we're just gonna go to right click and the troubleshoot compatibility. Click on that, and it's gonna open. You're gonna have to clear something. Um, troubleshoot program in my case. Just set the up on one. It's not important. And pick the Windows XP Service Pack 3. That's the one we need. Next. Next, uh, start the program. <laughs> Is this one? I'm sorry, I just. It actually should look completely clear. Like this. Um, and what this program as the as actually does, you can actually set. Um, you can actually set um, different buttons or triggers on your. Um, controller as different keys on your keyboard or just on your mouse. Um, so for that, we got. Uh, we're just gonna make a new one. New. This thing here um, should get up. Um, you just go to image. And to open you to open your Xbox 360 controller image. I actually put this in the description. Um, you'll be able to, to download this. Okay, then go to sticks and go there are 
two different sticks. There's one this one and this one. I'm just gonna go to enable and then you see this thing. Now go to your controller and left up okay. You see? And just just click on it and drag it to the place where it is. Okay, then stick two enabled. Same again. Of course also click on the other trigger um, to d-pad enabled. There's this one. Up, down, left, right. Also put this as this right direction. Buttons. These are these whole buttons. Um, just gonna click on X that thing appears, just drag it on X, B, A, oh, so if, if, if you click that, it automatically um, creates a new button layer, whatever this is. Okay, um, I got this one also, oh, no, click on it, okay, click on that too, this one, this one. You can also do. No. Okay. This is bad. Get away from here. <laughs> and these two up here too. Just put them anywhere right here. It will notice that. Okay. Triggers. Nailed. Left and right. And these both are known too. Now we're going to go to finish and close, and voila! Uh, can I make this bigger? No, I can't. Okay. Um, now to set um, the button or just what it just changed or just used, um, say uh, just how to set it as a key. Simply click on it. You can choose one of these whole things. So we're going to start off by moving. So this trigger we want to have to move around to go. Um, for that, we're simply going to click on that, whatever this is, and go to WASD. This automatically set because this happens most of time. Same to this one. Uh, just go to arrows. No, to mouse normal. I'm sorry. Um, this one was this arrows, but we don't want to have that right here. Uh, right now. Then I'm gonna set this to shoot. So we're shooting on the left mouse, okay, and here on the right one. Um, we wanna have, let's say, because it's for a game for Call of Duty 4 in this case, this is what I'm gonna show you for. Um, to escape, to go to the menu to okay tap to see the stats. Um now we're gonna A to jump. Uh X for I guess yeah reload. Um Y to change weapons. Wait this is one or two. Um and B to sit down. Um, the sad thing is um, that um, that you can't uh, put that in the original way as you play it in, uh, as you can play it in Black Ops. So you can't like, if you're holding that, you're laying down. You have to put that on an external um, button. Same to reloading and picking up a weapon. You also have this. Uh, you also have to set this on different keys or different buttons. Um, right here we want to make grenade G. Right here we want to make the Q grenade. Um, so th the second one. Right here we want to have the noob tube or claymores, whatever. This is three. This is for the. Um, Air support four. 
I actually um, changed the controls of Call of Duty 4 so that I can use it um, like Modern Warfare 2. So um, yeah, here we're just gonna sprint, which is on that ship. Here I want a knife, uh, which is E. And here I wanna let's say. No, let's set this to three, and this to, uh, to lay down, which is this. Okay. Um, CTRL. Oh, wow! Wait, did I just notice something awesome? Oh no, you can do do this. Oh, sadly. Okay. Okay, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> so didn't notice anything. Okay. But this should be pretty okay. Um, just gonna click Save As to Save Layout. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Save Out. Um, tutorial. Call of Duty 4. Okay. Now if I'm moving trigger, okay? You see that right right here? I'm moving my trigger on the controller. Never mind about that um, red things, I don't know what they're for. Um, but, okay, and you see, I can change this anyhow. Actually, my aiming on the Xbox isn't too good, but, um, I'm still going to show you some gameplay, I guess. Uh, no, I'm going to put this in an external link. Or um, after just after the video, you can do double clicks. Wait. Uh, okay, this way. I'm just going to start Minecraft. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> uh, wait. Okay, that was a bit with the keyboard right now, but... Okay... Enter game. Just want to show you that... Single player. Let's make a new world. Actually, this is not perfect... Um, control now. <laughs> Because this is the Call of Duty 4 setting, but you see, I can move, I can go, I can jump. The sensitivity is not too high actually, and the record lags horribly because I'm not recording with refs. I'm using Camtasia Studio or Camtasia, I think Camtasia. Um, this is why it lags hard. When I will ever, maybe I will ever make a Minecraft video, is bad. When I will do that, or if I will do that, I will record that with breaths so it doesn't like so hard. Um, also see this. Wait, what is this up here? Oh, never mind. But this is just what I, sh what, what I wanted to show you. Um, just gonna put that small clip at the end of the video. If there's no time, I'll make. I'm gonna make an extra video. Let's see. So, thank you guys for watching this video, I hope I could t um, help you out.